Dear Mary, hey, it's your only son, as if you needed the reminder, right? Turns out being unemployed has the perks, like not being able to afford a $4 Mother's Day call. <laughs> I figured I'd probably appreciate You'd probably appreciate having the four dollars more anyway. So consider this letter a double save. Here we are, another Mother's Day, and honestly, not much has changed. It's been 42 years of you being my incredible mom. And each year I realize more and more just how much you've you've shaped who I am. Last week I was reminiscing about our childhood. Sure, it was a bit chaotic at times, but you with your boundless strength and faith kept us all together. You made sure that God was at the heart of everything, teaching us about the rapture and filling our homes with songs of his goodness. I still remember you retreating to your room your prayers so fervent, they could shake the heavens. You cried out for your soul and ours. And let me tell you, mama, those prayers weren't in vain. They carried us through, kept us grounded, and brought us to where we are today. Though life hasn't been the kindest in recent years, and while I find myself wishing I could do more to support you, especially after promising God in 2020 that I'd be there to help you. It pains me that I'm not where I want to be. But we both know God's timing is perfect. And he provides exactly what we need, exactly when we need it. I'm trusting that and hope you do too. So on Mother's Day, I just want to say that I am eternally grateful for every sacrifice you made, every prayer you whispered, and you, and you are the backbone of our family, a woman of unshakable faith and love. Thank you, Mama, for everything. <laughs> I love you more than words can express. Pass this around, Usher. I gotta, y'all. <laughs> I gotta, y'all. <laughs>